there are a bunch of people that buy stuff at Harbor Freight because it is cheaper and then they spend what it would cost to buy something nice making the Harbor Freight thing work like the nicer thing would and I am one of those people except I'm even cheaper because most of the videos you will see for the Harbor Freight blasting cabinet are the one that actually has a stand this one doesn't have a stand sitting on top of a free Craigslist uh, work uh, toolbox which was worth every penny uh, so I have modified this Harbor Freight desktop model uh, of course the first thing I did here was put uh, lights on it so you can see what the heck you're doing I added uh, this is the uh, nozzle that came with it but I added a if I can get it here the hose I added to it here was uh, one you would use for a uh, like a power tool like a impact wrench and it had this nice ball end on it here which allows you to wiggle the wrench around gives you some free range uh, to make it a little easier uh, when you're muscling this uh, connection around because you've got these two hoses on here so you're fighting with them a little bit so that was one of the first things I did actually was that then I added the lights and then because it creates a huge amount of dust I added a dust collecting system um, it's basically mostly PVC pipe uh, this part I did put it in the lathe and turn it down just a little bit so it would fit better into the side of the cab some guys run theirs in the back this one has a gigantic opening in the back that I would have had to use like a four inch fitting for um, I've got these these are called uh, no hub two inch PVC couplers if you want to connect a, a shop back to anything using two inch PVC these are fantastic uh, it's a very snug fit on the PVC it's a moderately snug fit on to the end of a shop back fitting but because it comes with the hose clamps and this band you can snug it down it'll stay on there forever so you can if you want to make like a home built dust collector you can sure enough use these it makes it way easier to do which is actually what I did with this thing this is my homemade dust collector plenty of guys have done videos of similar things on uh, you'll find them on YouTube it's just a two inch uh, 90 degree elbow with uh, this is a piece of regular two inch PVC in the case of my the shop back that I have here I had to make this little bitty adapter because when I started I planned to use my big shop back and then I realized that I had a smaller shop back uh, in the stored uh, that we I originally used for collecting bees so it's one of these where's it at there it is right there one of those which is actually pretty good for this job and so you have this anyway you've got this piece going in you have set your 90 degree elbow there which helps give you some cyclonic action throwing the stuff to the outside where it'll end up in the bottom there's hardly anything in here because I recently cleaned it out it does work pretty well especially for the couple of buck investment uh, in it I did add handles because once again <clears throat> I'm super cheap I didn't buy the one with its own stand so I have to pick it up to move it around uh, it this one does work pretty well the videos you'll see online <coughs> with the uh, kind of has its own stand uh, the tricks they use uh, one of the big ones which is changing the feed does not work on this one uh, and I'll show you why <sighs> The SU2 is just, I used to race, and that was the class I was in. Anyway, uh, so underneath here, the one that comes with its own stand, this thing has a door in it that will swing open and let you dump out all of your media if you need to change media or put fresh in. Uh, mine just had this little piece right here. It was closed off with a little rubber plug. The idea was you would take this out and the media would drain out of this hole, which does not happen. You could take it out and almost nothing comes out of it. But what I ended up doing was putting in, using PVC, uh, I actually laid this down slightly. You can see it stepped down here. Um, to fit uh, the hole, I put a T-fitting in. comes up to a 90 degree, which actually comes over to this 90 degree turn PVC turn valve that's a this side is vacuum it's just drawing using Venturi effect to draw media out of the bottom of the hopper into the spray nozzle so this right here allows you to 
increase or decrease the amount of feed air or of extra air being pulled by the vacuum so you can reduce the feed if you need to. If you're getting too much media, I pretty much run it closed, but sometimes there might be a time when you want to run a little less media. Anyway, you've got this line right here. This runs straight back and then up, drilled a small hole into the bottom of the hopper. And there is a piece of copper pipe uh, that I also laid down slightly and press fit into this copper pipe. On the other side, you can't really see, cut the light back on. You can't really tell, but that pipe, the rubber reinforced hose, just fits directly onto that pipe. It's just a really tight interference fit. Uh, no media gets out around it. There's really no gap there at all. Plus, when the dust collector is on, it's drawing a vacuum inside this thing, so it's not really leaking anything out. Um, I've, I've tried it a couple times. I've got a little short video of cleaning some rusty steel with it. It works pretty good. I, it's, uh, was, this is about half the price, I think, of the feed dirt that come, or the, uh, shoot, sandblaster that comes with its own, uh, stand. Um, and I really didn't have room for that one anyway, because it's like my, I'm completely full here in the shop. There's barely room to move around in here. Uh, but it was a pretty good deal. I did order this thing online because my local Harbor Freight did not have it. You can see there's a dent right here. There's some damage right here. I do not recommend ordering stuff online through Harbor Freight. It tends to get pretty banged up. Just try and get it from the store. If they don't have it, just wait. It's not worth uh, getting this stuff online. It's not packaged well enough to be shipped by what you would typically have stuff shipped to your home with. So, and that's my Harbor Freight Sandblaster.